Gather Network is a platform that allows publishers without ads and provides businesses and also develops access to cheap and reliable processing power. So with me is the CEO, uh, Reggie Jarrett, to explain exactly what Gather is doing. And one thing that I found really interesting, Reggie, was you don't have ads, which is how we've seen kind of all of this social media and everything based on ads. So explain to me how Gather works and then let's uh, go a little deeper into the business. For sure. So Gather is a platform that allows publishers and application uh, publishers and applications on, on an alternative form of monetization without having to rely on ads, right? Essentially what happens on one end of the platform is that when you come and visit a website, you are, you'll see a small opt-in disclaimer. If you provide consent, a very small portion of your processing power is used to power the Gather ecosystem. That processing power is then taken and then resold on to enterprises and developers for a cheaper form of cloud computing. So when you visit a website, small portion of your processing power is taken, resold on to these enterprises and developers for a fraction of the cost as compared to let's say AWS or GCE. So you don't have to rely on ads at all. So there's no tracking, there's no data tracking. We don't take uh, track your data and sell it on to people. It's very privacy centric. So we don't know who you are as an end user, none of that going on. You know, we're not uh, bombarding you with ads or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like people, I mean, at least here in the US, um, kind of kind of knew, like at first they didn't know that their data was being tracked and ads were being targeted. And then they kind of knew and just didn't care. <laughs> and now I feel like they're starting to care a little more because um, I feel like they feel like, well, that's my data. You know, I'm kind of, you know, the free product that you're selling. So your business model is a little, is, is different. So, um, and that's how you make the money is selling the processing power rather than selling people's data. Exactly, exactly. I think in the 21st um, century and, you know, with the last years, how things are progressing, the need for a monetization model for websites, applications, et cetera, that does not rely on the individual, their, their history, what they've been doing, their browsing history is sorely needed. I mean, look at GDPR. We're moving in that direction as is, right? It's not to say that data is invaluable, but it's just so many times that it's, it's um, you, you can't trust third parties with your data. They just misuse it. They, they manipulate it and they sell it on. And that's why you get these scam emails, you get these weird calls, credit card theft. That's all where it originates from, right? The more data you have on a person, the more you can target them. Um, and that's the complete polar opposite of what our ethos is and what we believe in. Uh, privacy is a fundamental right and not a privilege. Yeah. Well, and, and the weird thing about it is if it was just, I'll just say Facebook, if it was just Facebook looking at our stuff and selling our ads, but they actually track you when you're on other sites as well, which I think is what creeps a lot of people out is that, you know, you don't really know where all they're following you. <laughs> yeah. The, the tracking pixels go through all these various websites. And I mean, like, let's say you search a product on I don't know, Amazon, you search for an electric toothbrush, right? And then boom, you go to Facebook and then you see an ad, you know, a wonderful ad for uh, a toothbrush. It's, it's very invasive. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, um, and that's really your unique selling point. So kind of explain like how can somebody, first of all, are you global? And, can, and how does somebody use Gather Network? How could, how could I use it if I wanted to start? Sure. Um, so Gather is global. Um, any website, any application can come and sign up to use Gather as long as you're not from a you know sanctioned list of countries and you're not doing anything quote unquote illegal. Um, we're happy to uh, let you use our product to monetize your content, etc. Right now, if you want to come and use Gather, it's really simple. You come and sign up. You get whitelisted after doing a basic KYC and email on you because we are providing you a form of making income here. Um, and then it's basically three lines of code that you put in the back end of your website or application. With applications, it's what's known as an SDK. And for websites, it's basically three lines of code. So the, the integration process is very, very similar, uh, uh, very, very, very simple compared. You can compare it to almost adding like a Google Analytics uh, tag to your website. So very straightforward. Now, would this be something like non-tech people could do? Or is this like more like a company would do this or both? Both, um, for sure. So non-tech person could easily integrate Gather. We're going to have a plugin come up. So it's like a one-click system almost. So let's say my grandma with her you know, baking blog could integrate Gather uh, and monetize using that, uh, monetize her blog. And um, there's also options for resellers that we're working on right now. So you have other companies that can you know, have bring in additional clients or bigger clients rather uh, working with us as well. 
Now, give me a little history of the company. So you're the CEO. You're also the founder, right? Yes. Okay. So tell me, like, when, when did you the company begin? Who is on your team? For sure, for sure. So I think the <clears throat> the idea spun out in about 2018 when I was hi- hired as a consultant to help a website monetize. And I discovered uh, a similar kind of idea, but it wasn't geared to publishers specifically. I had a background in advertising, so I knew that wouldn't work. So I got the initial team together, which was made up of, you know, our CFO, who's ex-KPMG, uh, Granite Thornton, et cetera, um, our CMO, CEO, all, all varied backgrounds, you know, established professionals and our advisory board. So we, in 2018, we did a very small seed round from a select group, and we went and built out, kept building, kept building. And then in 2020s, things really took a very big turn for us, where we were able to, let's say, land a much larger round for about a million dollars, which was venture back, venture capital back as well. Um, and we kept building. We landed our first billion dollar client um, in 2019, I believe it was 2019 uh, as well. And that's, you know, a very short history of what we've been doing. Our CTO comes from um, a company called NCR and he ran their cloud computing operations in Atlanta for a very long time. I think it was almost like 10 years or so. Mm-hmm. One of our advisory boards, he's uh, what works with, was working with a browser called Oprah. Uh, for a long time as well. We have one of the former uh, regional directors of Publicist Group uh, as our marketing advisor, and then a lot of, you know, uh, blockchain related specialists with us as well. Okay. Now, um, what would, who would be your competitors and how big is the potential market for something like this? So the total market size for all the, let's say, various use cases comes to about 600 to $700 billion total addressable market, which obviously gets shrunk down when you look at SOM or S- uh, SAM specifically. If we talk about competitors, there's no single competitor creating platform like we're doing right now in the manner that we're doing. But if we break it down, there are competitors that exist. So one of them is known as Brave Browser. So I believe their current market cap is in the billions, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the way Gather is built is we're platform agnostic, right? So anyone can come and plug in Gather and use it. So we're not building our own browsers. We're not building... Um, our own social media platform is that these platforms can come and use us to monetize. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what are your goals for this year for the company? Um, so in the next few months, we're gearing up for a very large series A with, uh, let's say our smart money specifically. Um, I think that's going to be one of our biggest goals and then full on uh, product adoption as we're going. We have quite a few clients already signed up with us. Early adopters, about 350 to 400 last time I checked, which leads to about, Three hundred or eighty thousand dollars per month, and this is allowing us to go for a full-blown, very large Series A. I think okay. that that's going that's going to be our, one of our uh, main goals here. Okay, well, it sounds exciting, and I think the world is ready for some privacy again. Yes, I would I would, I would <laughs> highly agree with that. It's time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Reggie, and please come back later this year after you like you know achieve some of your goals, and we'll get an update. 